YouTube, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it is June 2023. We're halfway through the year. Can you believe it? <laughs> 2023 is going quite quickly. Um, in this video, I'm going to do a June currently inked, but I'm also going to do a catch up video. Um, I want to give status updates on some of the things that I have previously posted and kind of bring everybody current and kind of let you know where I'm at and so on and so forth. So let's let's get into it. So first things first, um, my D stash. My going well, I sold some pens uh, in the month of May. Thank you for all the people who bought fountain pens from me. If you're listening, um, those packages have that that package went off to all the people. So everybody should be getting their fountain pens shortly uh, that bought them or, or or have already received them. I'm sorry about that. Um, so I got rid of four of my fountain pens on my stash. I think I was at a count of right about 101 fountain pens. Um, so I'm a little bit less than that with that. I'm about 100. I still have fountain pens up for sale. So you can get that information um, off of my Instagram account. And the message is those that um, contact information is down below. Also, I had three people that were interested in ink sample giveaways. I need for everybody to get in contact with me that wants an ink sample, I need your complete contact information, your full name and address, etc. cetera. Um, I did a special announcement in my last video. So hopefully when this comes out, you've heard that and you get in contact with me so I can get those packages sent out. I would like to do so before the middle of the month because I will be on travel and I would like to have them delivered it in their new homes. Um, also, uh, let's see, One Book July is coming up, so I will be talking about One Book July at some point this month, probably in the latter half of June. And I wanted to give you an update on my art toolkit. So um, here is the actual art toolkit. I have not taken the water cup out. I actually haven't been able to figure out how to get <laughs> get it loose out of the package, but this is what it looks like. Um, so I'm just going to give you a brief overview and then we'll get into uh, currently inked for the month of June. I put my palette card on the back and I don't think I'm going to remember all the colors. So if you're really interested, let me know and I'll do another deep dive. But this is how the color palette came out in the colors that I selected. I've got warm reds, um, a purples, I've got three blues, I've got a pink gray, yellow ochres, I've got some yellows, some greens. I've got, this is um, Daniel Smith uh, Titanium Buff. I absolutely love that color. Um, and this is actually Actually, that's my Payne's gray, actually, or and this might be my lamp black, and this is the white gouache. So that's the palette. Looking forward to utilizing that. Haven't had a chance to do so. Been a little bit too busy with work, but that is the status on the palette. Uh, let's get into what is currently inked. So I've got two of my sample pads. I've got my onion skin journal and I started doing this and I only the only pen that I have currently inked up for you guys and I'll go ahead and swatch these out on camera is my first pen and let me just bring that over like that. I'm housing my pen and my housing my pens in two different Galen leather cases. The first one is this wonderful six pack. Let me just, okay. So I have continuation from the month of May on some of my pens, which is why I've got so many pens currently inked for June, because some of them are going to probably run dry pretty quickly here. But um, the first one, <clears throat> and I'll show you this one up close already. I started doing this and I thought I would share. This is the Le Bond Cambridge 325 uh, fountain pen in a fine point nib. And I have in that the Monte Verde, let me just make sure that this is going in focus. I have it in the Monte Verde black. This is a fantastic writer. Um, really enjoy that pen. And now I'm going to kind of go from cool to warm. So that's the Le bon. 
I decided to ink up my Leonardo. I haven't um, written with my Leonardo in a while. And actually, before I do the Leonardo, actually, let's talk about this one. This is the Sailor Dianthus uh, Pro Gear Slim that came out last year. It's in a medium nib. And that one is inked up still with the Incobera uh, Pale Violet. So this is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. I'll just abbreviate it. This has a medium nib. And this has the Incobera Pale Violet. I thought I was going to actually use this pen more um, than I did. And let me zoom in so that you can really see it. Um, so there's that one. Next, I have my Leonardo Momento Zero. And I forgot the name of this colorway, but I absolutely love this pen too. And I'm using the last ink sample bit of ink that I have for this one. Leonardo Momento Zero. And this is in a extra fine. And this has, the ink for this one is uh, Diatramentus. Johann Sebastian Bach. Okay. And if anybody knows where I can get that ink, let me know because I absolutely love it. Um, it's just a really unique kind of aubergine kind of color. And I'll hold this up at the end so everybody can see what these look like up close. Um, I talked about this pen uh, last month. It is the Drum and Ghoul Heinz Exclusive. This is called Serene Amethyst. I absolutely love this pen. Only 15 of each uh, nib size was made for this. So I feel very fortunate to be able to have gotten my hands on one. Um, I will say this um, nib unit is got a very distinct metallic spell. Um, so I try not to hold that too close to my nose or my face when I'm writing. Um, but I absolutely love how this pen writes. Uh, Drama Ghouls. Heinz. Exclusive. And I'll just do this like that. Um, this is a fine nib pen, and it is the Serene Amethyst. And the ink samples that I bought last month definitely helped. This is Diamine Purple Dream. Oops. And so I'm really enjoying that, but I inked that up last month, and I'm still writing with that particular pen. Next up, I have, um, let's see here, the Coeco Royalty Elite. I love this pen. Um, I love all my pens that I'm keeping, um, but I, this is the Royalty Elite series in red. So this is the Coeco. This one is in a medium, I do believe. Uh, yeah. Branching out, getting a little bit wider in some of my pens for Coveco. I actually like this one. This color is, um, it reminds me of a school teacher's red, but it's not quite as bright. But this is Diamine, and this is Red Dragon. This is a very smooth writing uh, Coveco nib, and I've been fortunate that I've had pretty decent nibs with Coveco, so I'm not um, sad about that at all. And then I have in blues, I've got two blues. I decided to ink up my 
um, Pilot, um, Vanishing Point, and Blue Cabernet. Um, this one has been not used a lot, and I actually do like this pen, so I'm going to be carrying this as my EDC pen a lot in the month of June. But this is the Pilot Vanishing Point. And this one is in an extra fine, and it's actually a very nice writing extra fine. It's not scratchy at all on, on this paper. The ink is Pelican Edelstein Blue Topaz. This one was a carryover um, from the month of May. I kind of decided to ink this up halfway through the month. Another pen that I really enjoy writing with, and this is the Pinlux Grandmaster in Blue Swirl. It has a fine nib in it. And I featured uh, this video uh, as far as a unboxing and reveal previously on my channel. So if you're interested, there's a video out on that if you want to hear more about this pen. And it's almost out of ink. Oh no! Did it just run dry? Hold on just a second. Sorry about that. Um, this pen actually has some hard starts sometimes and I ink does dry on the nib. I don't know why when I've capped it and uncapped it, but this is the Pinlux uh, Grandmaster in Blue Swirl. And the ink is Diamine Celadon Blue. I absolutely love this color. And I think it's a really good match with the, the swirl of this pen. So there's that one. So that is already uh, featuring six of the fountain pens. I then um, have still almost, it's almost out of ink, but I'm still writing with my Pelican M400 in White Tortoise. Um, let me just do this really quick. And this one's gonna run empty at some point uh, this month for sure. I'll just do white tea, WT for white tortoise. This is in a fine nib. And I still have diamine sepia in here as well. And lastly, I decided to go ahead and ink up my Twisby Eco. So this one has the Twisby Eco and the Black Demo. And this one has got a medium nib on it as well. And it's a very smooth experience on this onion skin paper. And the ink I have in here is Jacobon Vert Atlantatide. All right, so let me show you what these all look like up close so that you can see what they look like. So this is my currently inked for June. I have the Laban, which is a midnight black. And I think I want to make sure you guys are getting in focus. The Sailor still has the um, Incabera. The Leonardo Momento has the um, John, Johann Sebastian Bach, which is like aubergine. Uh, Drama Ghouls has the Purple Dream. Caveco Royalty Elite has the Diamine Red. The Pilot Vanishing Point has the Pelican Edelstein, Edelstein Blue Topaz. My Pinlocks has the Diamine Cel Celadon Blue. Uh, the Pelican M400 White Tortoise has Diamine Sepia. And then the Twisby Eco Black Demo with a medium nib has Jacobon for Atlantatide. So that is my lineup for the month of June. 
Um, what are you inking up in your pens this month? Let me know if you're going to post. Um, thank you so much if you made it to the end for sticking with me. And once again, just a quick reminder, um, I am going to do an ink sample giveaway this month with three new people. So if you're interested in getting an ink sample mailed to you from me, uh, please put it in the comments. The first three people that say they want ink samples, I will go ahead and send that out and I will announce it before the end of the month. So I'm putting the announcement out, hopefully by the middle of towards the end, that week of the 20th, I should be back. Um, so it's going to be the very last weekend of June that I'll probably announce the winners. I will probably be out the weekend of the 17th, so you might not get a YouTube video. So the following weekend, I will um, announce who's going to get the ink samples. And once again, reach out to me through IG once I reach out to you to let you know whether or not you're one of the recipients. Thank you so much. Once again, thanks for sticking with me to the end. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.